Welcome to The View. Joining us is our God Day Friday guest co-host. Please welcome Dallas Star, the amazing Patrick Duffy. <laughs> now, you know, Patrick, I've loved you forever, but fans have really loved you as Bobby Ewing since Dallas first premiered in 1978. <laughs> How... Oh, cut that picture out. <laughs> oh, but, like, do you... What kind of impact has that been for you? I pay my rent. <laughs> uh, it's been wonderful. I mean, it's, it's wonderful to resurge again. We're on, mm. we're on year 15 now wow. of the show. Uh, but there was an interim period where you know, I would audition for things when Dallas would cancel the first time, and I wouldn't get things because they would say, uh. you know, as soon as you come in the door, they're going to see Bobby Ewing instead of the, you know... Uh, you said, because we were yeah. talking earlier, that Harrison Ford, who's on with us... Yeah. Yeah. You said he can go... You know, from being, you know, Han Solo, Han Solo. Jack Ryan, yeah. you know. Yeah, and he can do the different part, but right. in television, it doesn't work it like that. It seems to be different in television. I actually used Harrison, I shouldn't say that, he'll come out and kick my butt. <laughs> but uh, I used him as an example when they would say, oh, it's going to be Bobby Ewing coming in the door. I said, well, when Harrison comes in the door, Harrison Ford, you don't say it's Han Solo. You say there's Jack Ryan, or you, you accept him. And they well, said, think, it's you know, different for television. We Why see is it you. different for television? Because they're looking at your person between your feet. Yes. You're, it's in your home. And it's in. Week. It's your family, and yeah. it's in your home. And, and you're laying back there, and it's there. Week yeah. too, Patrick. I mean, yeah. every week you come into our homes as this character, mm -hmm. and I mean, because I don't know, do people That's refer to you as Bobby? Because yeah. when I first saw you, I was like Bobby, and then I caught it. Yeah. Do you still get that? Oh yeah, uh, my wife makes a joke of it because. Dallas was canceled in '91. I tried to not be Bobby Ewing for oh. 20 years. Who am I now? <laughs> trying to run away. It's like being a yeah, pastor. Just can't outrun your shadow. Don't run out of and you've been married, speaking of your wife, you've been married to an unbelievable woman for... Yes, yes. 41 years. 41 years. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no reason not to say, because we usually ask it the other way right. around, that she's 10 years older she's than you. She's 10 years older you know. than I am, right. Uh, and right. that, you know, when, if, it, if it's a, a man, we never think about it. What's a woman, we say, oh. oh yeah. uh. And even her father, when he was so traditional. She'd been married 13 years when I met her. And I broke up a marriage. Uh, and uh, oh. I went to meet her father. Yeah. yeah, I went to meet her father. And he, in front of her, he said to her, in front of me, he said, but you're older than Patrick. And she said, yes, Daddy, I am. And he said, well, that's OK now, but what about when you're really old? <laughs> you know, okay, thanks, so, Dad. Yeah, so, and, but it's been 41 she's years. She's 74 years old, and we're happily married. What's so the secret? Yeah. Aside yeah. from yeah. happily married. The, the secret to me to be happily married is to stick with it, because it all goes through cycles. Mm. And you can jump off at the low ebb, mm. you know, and, and not be there when mm. it comes back up. So I, I think you just have to hang in there and realize that the, uh, the ecstasy part that got you attracted in the first part orbits back. You have, wow. Patrick. It, it you orbits have, you back. have, you have children? I have grandchildren, yeah. Ah. yeah. So Which means you... I have children, yes. yes. <laughs> so when you're with your wife... I skipped that whole middle ground. I just said... Oh. Does it, you know, because it's so funny, when, when before I got married, when, like, younger men came up, I was like, we don't have anything in common. I don't want to talk to you. Did, was that ever an issue at any point in time, the age difference? I, don't, you mean, I actually it? looked at it the other way around. Really? I, I, I was so enthralled with this older woman who was mm -hmm. so worldly and intelligent, and she had gone through all the stuff that you have to go through when you're young. Mm -hmm. And so she helped me get through that. I mean, I was 24 years old. Nice. I was like, woohoo! Yeah. I'm going to marry you, and then I'm going to marry her, and then I'm going to marry <laughs> Deb, you know. 41 years well, later. Yeah. That's right. So wow. you are. She... We'll be right back, because, you know, we have more Hot Topics. <laughs> Hello. We are back with Guy Day Friday guest co-host, the fabulous Patrick Tuffy. Ta-da! <laughs> Glamour Magazine wants you to stop Googling people before you go out on a first date with them. Because it, yes, quit it. Because it will make you prematurely judge them and hijack the chemistry. Do you, do you guys Google? Well, you're married. You're not supposed to be Googling well, anybody. When I was dating Sal, mm -hmm. when we went out on a date, he had Googled me, and he had a list of questions like, well, I heard you was dating so-and-so. And I said, and I, it, it, I was just like, oh, God, oh, well, I can't lie because you didn't Google it already. <laughs> so it was a little, but I... In my, in my day, we had blind dates. Now you don't have to have blind dates. Mm. 
Uh, not, well, I, well, if they're not, if they're not tell, telling the truth. Right. I mean, you can Google everything, and you can find anything. out things that, that should have taken you time to know, no. I think. I'm not sure you should know everything up front. I would like the information up front. Quite personally, if I were in a dating route, like if you're 20-something, 30-something, 40-something, yeah. you're trying to find out. You don't have as much time to actually get to know someone as you used to. I think you, <laughs> you get... you get, you're getting ready to go. No. No. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I mean, life is moving so fast right yeah. now. The more information you can get on somebody up front, the better. You actually can ask them about real things, and they can't lie to you. I think it's just a third party should do a criminal background check, yes. and that's it. Yes. And that's it. I think you have, to, you have to go with your good old-fashioned gut. You have to meet the person and figure it out. What about Be medical records? <laughs> Great. Yes. To find out if you're going to get a little of this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that. You had a little yeah. something to oh, I had a little so in. Oh, I didn't mean that to be the segue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a communicable thing. <laughs> he says no. now. Uh, Wednesday, I had a, a cancer cell, basal cell, removed off my lip. Mm -hmm. And it's the third one that I've had taken off my body, which is just a public service announcement. Have yourself checked. Check yes. for what? Because, uh, check for a uh, little cancer. skin cancer. Yes. Okay. Right. Because if you catch it in time, they go... Sometimes they can just freeze it and go right. boom and it's done. Yeah. But other times they might have How to take it out. How did you know it was huh? something that you need to check? <laughs> because my lighting guy said, you know, we can't light around that anymore. It's getting too big. Oh, wow. Yeah. And my makeup person. You know, we're lucky. We have somebody who really examines right. our faces. And, and, and by the way, you should, if you can, you go, to a doctor, to go to a dermatologist. Because yeah. it's not just your face, it's your whole body. Your whole body. Yeah. You see, that's giving me nightmares, what well, you I just may. said. It I'll may. check it, it out may. later, Whoopi. We'll, uh, I, I know what <laughs> That was great, Patrick. The season two finale of Dallas airs Monday night.